Want to know the top three reasons that women ended up trying to access homelessness services? Number one, fleeing family and domestic violence. Probably not a surprise. Number two and three were the cost of living and housing crisis. A cold hard fact about the domestic violence emergency at the moment is that last year alone, 37,000 people fleeing family and domestic violence tried to access homelessness services to get a long-term home. Well, 96% of them were denied. The vast majority, vast, vast majority of them were women. And that's basically because the government chronically underfunds housing and homelessness services. This is why the Greens have called on the federal government to double what's called the National Housing and Homelessness Agreement funding in the budget. What this would amount to is $40 billion over the next 10 years to make sure that we never have a situation again where a woman fleeing a violent home is forced to choose between homelessness and violence. It isn't really that much money compared to where the federal government found $50 billion in the budget for new military spending over the next 10 years. We've also said to the federal government they should start to push really hard to coordinate a national freeze and cap on rent increases because often what happens is even those women who aren't fleeing domestic violence situations are also uh, being forced into homelessness because they can't afford massive rent increases. And what we know is that women are 13 times more likely to experience violence when they're homeless. We can stop a lot of that by just making sure that rents aren't skyrocketing and pushing people uh, to be evicted into homelessness. And finally, this government needs to start building enough government-built homes rented and sold at prices people can actually afford. So every time a woman needs to leave a violent or bad relationship, she can do so and she can go and access a good quality home with good income support and wraparound services to make sure that she doesn't have to choose between homelessness and a violent home, which is happening far too often at the moment. Remember, remember this number, 36,000 people last year, the vast, vast, vast majority of whom were women. Well, they tried to get a long-term home last year and they turned away because this country right now is not spending nearly enough on homelessness funding uh, and building enough public housing. Authorised by Jay McCall, Australian Greens, Canberra.